it's crafting with christy and if you're new here welcome and if you're you've been here welcome back so today i am doing the end of the month finish pages for may holy crap y'all holy crap may flew by like it was nothing so uh yeah so I have my little notepad thingy right here. Um, these are kind of my goals that I want to do. And y'all know that I've been trying to color 30 pages every month. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not too worried about it. But this month, I think I kicked butt this month. So this month, I colored 41 pages in 17 books. So, my goals for May were six body colors. I only did one. Never uh, For never colored in books, I colored in six. Four different flowers, I colored in five. And when I say four different flowers, I'm not saying like four out of this one. I'm talking about in all books. Like one in this one. You know, one in, you know, that one. You know, stuff like that. Um, and then, let's see. Pictures with buddies. And when I say that, not to get, get it confused with buddy colors. Um, let's just show, like, buddies, basically. Like, two people in one picture. Anyways. Or more. Not just two. Just two or more. Anyways, I did five and then finished two whips. I only did one, like forever whips or whatever. I only did one. I was going to do two and then I just, yeah. And then it, I was going to do three mandalas and I did 13. So those were my goals for May. So let's get into this big old bad boy. So these are in no particular order. I'm just going to be showing you. So the first one I want to show you is Color by Colors Stained Glass Mandala. This is by Kira Shishneva. I was greatly gifted this book by Kira. Um, so I started at the back and I did, yeah, that was my first page. I did this on the 26th, and I did this with my spree markers, and I did a color, er, like a flip through color and chat with this one. I really uh, like how that turned out. I'll link that up in the eye. And then after that video, I did this one, which on the same day I finished it. Also, in my spree markers, I kind of messed up right there. It's okay. It happens. I'm not too worried about it. And then, on the 29th, I finished this page. So, this, I feel like this book is going to, like, just get done fairly quickly since it only has 20 pages. And that, again, is Color by Colors, Stained Glass Mandalas by Kira Shishneva. Um, the next book I colored in, this was a gift by, I think, Sandra West. Thank you. Um, this is Color by Number 3D Mandalas by Sun Life Drawing. And... Usually with these books, I go kind of hog wild with them. Um, pretty sure I did most of these with my spree markers. So I just started at the beginning and I did this one on the 4th. Also did this one on the 4th. Did this one on the 8th. Excuse me. Did this one the, on the 11th. Did this one on the 23rd. This one also on the 23rd. And that will be my next one. So. 
I did quite a few in that book. Again, that's Color by Number, 3D Mandalas by Sun Life Drawing. The next book I did was Carez Mystere Babies. This is a French Disney book. Um, I really, really like these books. Uh, let's see. And I did... Let me actually... I did this one, which it has Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. So that one was cute. I did that one on the 4th, and I did that with my Magic Fly markers, because they are double-sided pages, so they're water-based markers. So again, that is Carez Mystere Babies by Hatchet Hero. Another Hatchet Hero book that I kind of went hog-wild with, and I colored my last page in my Monday Live is Mickey and Friends. Let's see. Um, I've been going all kinds of ways. So this is the last page that I did. This is the page that I did on my live. It's Mickey and Pluto. I actually thought that it was going to turn out bad. And it actually really didn't. Of course you can see I finished it last night. I am recording this on June 1st. The next one I did was Mickey and Minnie, black and white version. I did all these in my um, um, Magic Fly markers. And then I did this one. I did, I finished this one on the 4th. And then my last one I did... I did actually this one on the 30th of, of April. It was after I did my completed pages. So I did that one. So again, that is Mickey and Friends, Carez Mystere by Hatchet Hero. Um, another one I did is A Million Unicorns by Lulu Mayo. See if I can get to it. Oh, there it is. So this is the page I did. Um, it, I felt like it was simple and easy, um, just because the background was already black, and I said, "Hey, why not?" And I did this whole page in glitter gel pens. Um, I know they were the <sighs> tan mint gel pens that Yvonne, the beautiful Yvonne, gave, uh, sent me for Mother's Day, so thank you. I greatly appreciate that. See the sparkle all over that page. Again, that is A Million Unicorns by Lulu Mayo. So this is probably one of them I might finish next month. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. I started going, I started this book in like a number generator and then I decided to stop doing that since I'm like literally close to being done with this book. So, let's see. I know, okay. So I did this one on the 18th and I know I did it with, I think, tan mint gel pens and one pink. And then, oh, I think I missed one. It's okay. It happens. No? Yes. Hold on. Okay. I did the minion dude. And I did him on the fourth. And then, let's see. I'm all going. And then I did Lightning McQueen. And I didn't date that one. Well, poopy. It's okay. Um... It's alright. I know I did it this month, so. And then the last one I did was, ow, sorry about that. This one, and it is Winnie the Pooh. And they're all done in gel pens. 
glitter gel pens, I think. Not totally for sure. But that is One Colored Lines coloring book. And this one is by Husky Wanna Fly. Couple pages I did in Flower Stained Glass Color by Number. Uh, this is also by Kira Shashneva. Um, oh, I missed one. Oh, okay. So I did this one on the 4th, which I love how that turned out. I did the, it looks like, um, Bix and Sharpies. Yeah. And then I did this one. What day was that? On the 6th. And then I think I did that also with Bix and Sharpies. And then I did this one on the 25th. And also did that with Bix and Sharpies. So again, that is Flower Stained Glass Color by Number by Kira Shishneva. Oh, did I even? Okay. <laughs> this next one is Fantastic Flowers Cross Stitch Style Adult Coloring Book. Uh, this is book three, but um, I'm doing this in order backwards, I think it is. Yeah. So I did this on the 6th. And I did this with my spree markers, I'm pretty sure. And I, yeah, I'm doing this all backwards because I don't want to mess up the... If I go forward to backwards, it'll mess up these right here. And yeah, don't want to do that. And then I did this one on the 7th of May. And then the last one I did was this one, which I finished on the, it looks like it says the 19th. And then I think I did these with my Bigs and Sharpies. So these first two I did with my spree markers, and then this one I did with Bigs and Sharpies. This next one, I feel like I'm so, so close to finishing because I swear, like, every month I color in it. But I did a couple pages out of here, which the first one I did was a de fish. De fishy. And I finished him on the 12th. And I did it in Vixen Sharpies. And then I did this one, and I think I did it with al my spree alcohol markers. I, I think. <laughs> Could be wrong. But I finished that on the 23rd. And again, that is Stone Mosaics, by, book one by the Balba family. This next one is Stone Mosaics, book two. This was gifted to me by um, Sandra West um, I did a couple in here uh, let's see the first one I did was it looks like the Eiffel Tower or something like that I did the this on the 6th and then I did the dragonfly which I did that on the 13th Sorry, Shadow. I just... <laughs> but, again, that is Stone Mosaics, book two by the Belva family. So, this was, and I did not date or mark it, because I am a goofy goob. So, this is... Oh, sorry. Geometric Patterns, volume one. This is on my ten books to finish... And this page right here was a forever whip. I think I started this whip like last year. And I finally got it done. So hopefully I can get more pages done out of this and then call it complete. I finished this on the 15th of May. 
So again, that is Geometric pa Patterns, Volume 1 by David Hankins, Jr. And then I colored in Kawaii Girls Grayscale. This is the only buddy color I did this month. And I feel kind of ashamed, but it's okay. It happens. I did this with, I think her name is Lauren Loves Color on Instagram. I could be wrong. Um, we did the Cowgirl page. We finished, well, I finished mine on the 14th. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak. <laughs> and we did it because we are both Texas girls. So, that is my cowgirl. So, again, that is Kawaii Girls Grayscale by Ava Brown. And we're getting kind of close to the bottom. The next book I colored in is World of My Stained Glass Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing. I feel like I haven't touched these books in like ages. So decided to pull them out. This is the first one I did and I did this. I did a couple pages on the 30th of April. So this is one of the pages I did. And I did this, I want to say with my spree markers I think yeah and then I did this on the first a little gnome guy and then that will be my next one so. again that is world of my stained glass color by number by sun life drawing Another Sun Life Drawing book I haven't colored in a while is Color by Number Art Animal Stencils. I think I did a couple in here. I did the squirrel. I don't want to rip the page. I did the squirrel on the first. And then I did this little guy. I can't remember what, what his name is. Or what he is. And I... I did three pages, never mind. I also did that on the first, and then I did the bear. And I finished him on the 18th. So, and then my next page will be the bat. Again, our animal stencils color by number by Sun Life Drawing. So, Danny Buttons is doing a giveaway on her channel. And for her 3,000 subscriber giveaway, um, I decided to enter into that and her Instagram one. Uh, it's you, the Instagram one, you have to color a Yippie Kawaii um, page from Danny Banani uh, of fun, unu fun, fun Unusual Suspects. And this is the page that I colored, if I can get to it. My goodness. I'm a hot mess, y'all. I'm a hot mess. So I seen, I cannot remember for the life of me who did this page. I thought it was so stinking adorable that they did it. And I was like, I want to do this page. So I finally did it. And I finished this on the 20th. This is Gone Bananas, and I think it turned out cute. I did this with my, not my spring marker. I did this with my Bix and my Sharpies. So that is another page down in Yippie Kawaii Volume 2. And then I decided to pull out this big bad boy. It is Majest Majestic Mandala's Midnight Edition by Tabitha. Tabitha L. Barnett. This is probably my favorite book from her. So this is one of the pages that I did. And usually with my these this book, I usually pick uh, like blindly like a couple different colors and then go with it. So I did this one. And then I don't know. And then I know it. Oh, what? 
Let me see when I did that. I, did I date it? Yeah. I did that. Ah. <laughs> I did that one on the 16th. And then I did this one on the 12th. And then, oh, got to take out my tabby. I keep forgetting y'all. And then my last one that I did was this one, which I really like. And I finished that. It looks like it says the six, yeah, the 16th. I finished that one as well. So those are my three pages I did out of Majestic Mandala's Midnight Edition by Tabitha L. Barnett. My last book that I colored in is the La Les Grand Classiques. This is a Hatchet Hero book. And I decided to do the first page, which the first page is Tinkerbell. And I finished her on the 9th. I don't know if I want to go in order or skip around. I don't know. Haven't figured it out yet, but I will. Because I kind of want to color in this book some more. So, yeah. Those are my May finishes. My 41 pages. And my, I think, 17 books. I think I said. I can't remember, y'all. It's been a long day, and I'm tired. So, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up a video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments section below. I do also have my email in the description box if, you'd like, if you would like to email me. But, other than that, I will see you on my next video. Bye! Keep on crafting, y'all!